Right, in this video we are given a formula for the probability uh, density function and we're going to be asked to write down the distribution and find the value of a constant and then use it to find the expected value and a probability. So it says a probability distribution is given as probability x is equal to some value r which is equal to k over r squared for r equal to 2, 4 and 6. Find k and write out the distribution find the expected value of x and the probability that x is greater than 2. So we've got probability x is equal to r is k over r squared for r equal to 2, 4 and 6. Writing into a table, so r takes on the values 2, 4 and 6 and this time instead of writing the probability x is equal to x we're going to write down the probability x is equal to some value r. So this will be probability x is equal to 2, this is a probability x is equal to 4, and this is a probability that x is equal to 6. So the first one is going to be k over r squared, so it's going to be k over 2 squared, which is 4. Next one is going to be k over 4 squared, which is k over 16. Next one is going to be k over 6 squared, which is k over 36. What do we know about these three probabilities? Well, if this is going to be a discrete random variable, if we add these three probabilities together, we should get 1. So therefore, k over 4 plus k over 16 plus k over 36 is equal to 1. k is a common factor, so k over 1 quarter plus 1 16 plus 1 36 is equal to 1. If you add those together, you get 49 over 144 times k is equal to 1 k will be 144 over 49. Then what we're going to do for the next bit, write out the distribution, instead of writing k over 4, we're going to do 144 over 49 times a quarter. That gives me 36 over 49, and then we're going to do 144 over 49 times 1 16, which gives me 9 over 49, and then we're going to do 144 over 49 times 1 over 36, which gives me 4 over 49. Notice if I do 36 plus 9 plus 4, I get 49 out of 49, which makes all the probabilities equal to 1, which makes this a discrete random variable. Discrete because it only takes on exact values. B, the expected value is going to be the sigma or I correct myself, the expected value of sigma of r times the probability of x is equal to r for all r. So basically I've got to do 2 times 36 over 49 plus 4 times 9 over 49 plus 6 times 4 over 49. So e of x, 2 times 36 over 40, 49 plus 4 times 9 over 49 plus 6 times 4 over 49. Now you might want to work out 2 times 36, 4 times 9, 6 times 4, and then to divide the result by 49, and we get 2.6938, which to three significant figures is 2.69. Okay, the mean should be somewhere between 2 and 6. Now, we are asked to find the probability of x being greater than 2. That's going to be those two values. All we need to do is do the probability of x is equal to 4 plus the probability x is equal to 6. We add those together. So that's 9 49ths plus 4 49ths, which gives me 13 over 49. Okay, so this is a bit of video to show you how to change the probability density function and into uh, a table and then use that to calculate a value of k and then use that to find the expected value and a probability. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.